and had a number of good looks to start this game. Castle on the thing. This is a great game. Defense. Trying to get an easy one for Marquette. Five turnovers for Connecticut. Castle. Block out. Bonds recovered by Joplin. Outlet pass. Good. Finds it. Gets there. Short. Rebound. Off the rim. Cling it in there fighting. 31 30. Golden Eagles. Blue. Change the shot, got Castle on a cut to the basket, and he'll bank it down. On Donovan Queen, get him out the game. Lincoln caught the court now, sets the screen, gets it back. Nice bounce pass, Castle squares his shoulders in midair, and hits. Step up. This Connecticut fan base ready to explode. Long rebound, Stewart baseline, step five, rise and fire. Long rebound. Had two great looks that time. Two. Caravan. He's swinging around. Three to shoot. Baseline. Off the mark. For Castle. Diggle the other way. Castle turns inside. And knocks it down. You see Dingle trying to give him a little. He, I saw him try. <laughs> Say it again. Try. He UConn with 71 points. And over 12 and a half to play. Castle explodes. Today, this is this one. Castle driving, hanging. Can't get it to fall. Gets his own rebound. Squirts it out. The right now. TV money, man. baby. That TV money. <laughs> TV money. Castle. Out of bounds. That reminds me of one. I want to have that linger over into this first game, and we can see these young men have come out focused, poised, and ready to play. Castle, he's off the mark. Guzman with great position that time. Well, Iona led that game, by the way, by one at the break, and they turned it on and never let up in the NCAAs. He would know better than most, his dad. Yep, and good defense that time by Oop. Loose ball again, and they are getting their offensive rebounds. Another one. You take a three, you get a long board, and they know where to be. Yeah, but come on, as their as their confidence grows, their bigs are good face-up scorers themselves. And Usman with a rejection. Beautiful. Weak side help. Who's forgot to spot up that shot on the other end? On the offensive glass, Connecticut human pogo sticks, but they can't hit. Yeah, a couple of missed opportunities in this first half. To Off the front iron. Castle. No one there. Usman came late. And I think Sean Miller's not happy. He's going to get him clinging. Oliveri had uh, too much room to keep from shooting that shot as Castle takes it inside, uses his body to make it a 45-38 lead. Huskies got the memo at halftime. School's out. Missed the lob, though. Yeah, but that time, Klingon ran into Castle. So, you see the defense, not a gap open. When you thought, Xavier, you had a clear lane. Oh, like that. are they a machine? Castle takes it to the top. He got thrown into the fire. They've learned to play real-time situations, which Indeed. will help them ultimately next year. Right. Absolutely. 75 to 49. For four with 10 points. PC up 13 to two. 15 footer for Castle off the heel. Carter again, rakes it down. All right, it's checked in. For UConn, backup point guard. Castle looking for his offense now. Spinning inside, pushes off, gets it to fall. Early in the season, Gus, he wouldn't have, he wouldn't have found that gap. He wouldn't have. 21-16. Castle. Loose. And a foul coming up on the re-block by Klingon. Picked up. 
Here comes Newton. Stefan! And Stefan Castle gets to the rack, lays it in. Time. Spencer for three. Newton with the rebound, the kick, Castle. Got it. Stefan. First lead of the game for the Huskies. UConn, which gets you out of position. Here's a steal. Castle blocked out of bounds, but Connecticut will hold on. Eight to shoot. Stefan sets his puppies and gets the bounce. Stefan Castle. And he didn't hit a shot until the final shot exactly. of the game. <laughs> Castle the other way lays it up and in easily to help Tristan Newton. Top of the key, Stefan. Pull up jumper, 14 footer, short. Johnson with a rebound off the heel. He's via your defense, and if he can do that, then you're one of those special teams that can weather the storm when offense is not working. Castle off the mark, another rebound. And he feels the game is in hand enough to kind of preserve those young men, get them ready, avoid any kind of injury. Heading into and run off the court. You know the only thing in my mind that I was thinking? What? If he makes this shot, I gotta hear Riley's mouth. Really? I was like, nah, bro. <laughs> what you, so I get a major run suicide to really put up a big number early. Like Klingon is starting to feel his oats off a great game, I thought. Castle big at the rim. Empty. Joplin the rebound. The fans are still standing. Played pretty well for Igadaro and Kolik both being out. And Klingon does such a great job, job screening. Ends up with a layup at the rim. Boy, must be nippy in here. It was earlier. It was a couple of weeks ago at DePaul, mid-February. Hesitation drive, Castle, that lipped out, rebound, Joplin. That's what he can do, though. Got to the rim, didn't complete the deal. Igadaro, Spencer, pull up. Caraban tipped it. And got it to Stewart. It's Castle to miss. Look who's there, though. Stewart again. And the cut to score for Castle. Well, they active is his offense. They never give up on a play. They like that roll on the same side, and Caravan lifts. That's Castle. Uh, wow. Manhandles. Contain the dribble drive. Here we go, Newton. It's Castle. He missed it for three. Jones on the go. Attack. Ahead, Joplin. The biggest freshman of the week nine times. Pretty good job getting Kling a little away. Nice day. You caught it. Slam upstairs. Rising Castle. That's what made it up. Numbers are up from nine to what? 13 to 14. Versatile player brings a lot of toughness. Castle probing for two, and that's what do you do? You play Castle or you take the roll guy? Cover. Fullness. Freshman from Fredericksburg, Virginia. Steal. Castle. Castle rocks the rim. Double up on Spencer. Kick Shooter. Caravan. Off the heel. Ooh. Offensive board. Newton gets off the deck. Castle. Again, look at this. That's why he gets triple doubles together. Seat the hall. UConn, one of eight from three point territory. Look at that. Banker, bingo for Castle and a foul. Now the ball is on. Out high, Newton nice feeds spill. it. Turn around. It goes for Castle. Fills up the cup. And they are attuned fence. So that is 10 turnovers now for Seton Hall. Nice fill again by Castle in that lane. Castle the pirouette. Baker goes. Stefan Castle using. A good other deflection up ahead. Castle is going to take it inside. Castle in the sky for the Huskies. Good job recovering, too. Swing. Klingon. Shot clock winding down. Castle trying to make it happen. Pretty misses on the fade. A good line. Good shot, too. 
how they rectified it. UConn with the offensive board. They do a lot of fake blur screens. Oh, oh. Goodness. Murray Kamani Young, who has been with Danny for quite a while. 17 points, 10 assists for Newton. Denial there by Bediaco. Great stroke. Diara takes it at the big. Castle flip. Gets the bounce. 21 points for the freshman. He's with the basketball. Here's Klingon. Newton down the lane on the kick. First shot of the game goes down for Castle. Transfer from East Carolina from El Paso, Texas. Castle sets it up. And Armstrong the other way. Now, I like the penetration the set. He's a top 10 NBA pick right now. Inside, Powell Jimmy give a clutch. No, batted around. Tracked down. On the baseline by Hart. Downhill in transition. No one stopped him early. Made a play. Castle. Pull up. Mid range. Stefan Castle. Castle. Nine to shoot. Top of the arc. Brick. Armstrong. Speed dribble into the front court. In traffic. Uses the screen. Baseline, Castle on the fade. Just more with the rebound. Bamba running hard up the lane. Spencer, pick and roll. Baseline, Castle. Got it up, no, and a foul. Is that a foul? No. Nope. That is the end of the first. Another missed opportunity that's side, inside the lane that can lead to a basket. Castle three. Out of bounds. And it's Nova Ball. It's Nova has had to a triple-double. He needs two points and two assists. The handoff. Pass only needs one assist. And two points. Just the places, Spencer. His activity is incredible. Castle from three. Bolts against the backboard. They were going to let him go early. See if he could with UConn. Put a lot of pressure on your weak side, your communication skills. This kid at the rim is pretty good. Klingon jumped a little early. Still able to scoop it up and put it in. Well, he doesn't have to double screen. It could have been an elevator, but he avoided it. Here's Castle. Attacking Colt Brenner. Drove it right at wow. him for two. Tough kid. Feeling his way on the perimeter here. One point Creighton lead their first of the night. Castle challenged by Hulkbrenner. The rejection. Numbers here if they want it. Hulkbrenner hit it to him with the three. There's Castle again against the freshman Jason Green. Everything but the bucket and the rebound out to Ashworth and a foul on Castle. On the road in any conference. Uh, Cameron has got the mismatch, but they don't see it. Castle, five to shoot over Hulkbrenner, rattles it home. They can get that all game, really, with that drop coverage. The zone. With Tristan Newton handed off to Spencer. Yeah, just ran that little bit. America's played back screen to the pop. And Castle's three, not going to go. Yeah, but it's yeah, not looking at his guy at all. Everything's been on the perimeter. Here's Newton. Step through. Got caught in the air to Castle for three. Look and at this rebound. rebound. Ashworth battling for it. It's out of bounds. It'll belong to Newton. Castle Bumpy turns down three. the three. He'll drive it to the rim and gets the roll and a timeout taken by the Huskies yeah. with one. The transfer portal, that's what makes Shaka Smart and this Marquette team so unique. Castle, he likes that spot. Off the heel and a quick rebound. Castle under duress. <laughs> That was a tough shot. Great defense yeah. by Marquette. Beautiful possession defensively. That brings them to their feet. Castle! That freshman can take you to the top. Points have really been coming inside the paint. Klingon started that turnover. Castle in traffic. And it's out of bounds.
to UConn and yet that's the only good news really for Marquette defensively in that first half. Castle, tough shot. Klingon fighting to keep it but lost it up. Castle working past Gold. Klingon to clean it up. Those from our losses more than probably in wins and this is another one of those games where if you're not winning, you're learning. Solomon Ball has checked into the game. A lot of other little things quite well. That's like that, stepping in front in a passing lane. Finds Castle who steps through and scores. Tremendous finish from Castle. The shot blocked and then lost the ball. Spencer feeds Castle, bucket, and a free throw. Spencer, they really got a complete player with him. Castle missed the three. Stewart way up to get the rebound. And the attention to detail with spacing, with footwork, angles of screens, shows you why UConn is so good on the offensive end. Castle with the drive. He's got some points. Spencer with nine. That's Castle. He plays at such a good pace for a young player to draw a foul himself. That's usually an automatic whistle. Newton, corner, Castle, three. Terry with the rebound. This is in that particular night and goes about and does it. Another turnover. Two more points off the turnover. Castle. The best of him over the next phase of his career. He's got a chance to be really good. It's really hard to be a freshman in college basketball these days. So many teams are built through portal with four. I agree. Uh, this is a, a, a big opportunity for DePaul basketball to get on the right track. And, and change the culture. That's Castle storming the lane. Uh, they missed Caravan on the switch. The smaller Terry switched onto him. Good tip. I don't know if that was Castle or Johnson. And so he's been asked to play a more uncomfortable role in his first season at Georgetown. Oh, absolutely. Stefan Castle, the best freshman in the Big East, jams it home with two hands. Play all season, and Coach Hurley trusts in the young fella. Castle takes it himself, rejected by Styles. And last touch by the Huskies, it'll go back. Eggs for rim protectors. All the things you need to be a good defensive team. Castle, oh, went for the hammer. And a second opportunity for Caravan. Pays it off. They're so connected defensively that they force you into taking, either they force you into now having a late clock. And that was just wide open. Ed Cooley to get that shot off with the defense on him. Castle a three. The young freshman played against that UConn team versus this team that's on all cylinders is totally different. Castle floater got it. And now Stefan Castle one point away from double figures from the floor. Castle lays it in. The C's parted for the freshman. And, and living up to the billing. And yes. sometimes that's the hardest thing, right? Your preseason picked to be the freshman of the year, and you play like it during the regular season. And one of the tough things when you have, and it's simple, I, again, we said it earlier, we, we see that they're capable of getting some things done. But again, every time I say that, defensively, they go there on the baseline. This is the first year. He's dealing with some things right here he's never dealt with before. Losing games that are close. Nice move. <laughs> Clinging to Castle. Yes, sir, for the freshman. Castle was 17. Most of these sets they run, well, Danny had about four sets of pages yeah. and he plays on them. And he just went from set to set to set. 
Another brother, Pat, kind of helped contribute to him picking UConn, but Cam Spencer said that first phone call with Dan Hurley, it was like, we're kind of the same people with how feisty we are as they miss at the rim. He ducks in. Oh, so busy. Castle. That wouldn't sit. Everybody stayed at home on this no switch. Davis right in Klingen's pocket, and it leads to a three that won't go down for Castle. And really solid check. Uh, no. Oh, it was hell two screen. Spencer waiting for the cavalry. Nice and run. Dive by Castle, two and a foul. And the timing of Spencer. Good numbers. Spencer, Diara flaring in and missing. The tap for the very active Castle. Again, Spencer with the right pass, but the effort. This well, the ceiling for him is just tremendous. And that is the area of the game in between his ears. He has a beautiful shoot pulled up and knocked it in. That was actually against Providence, although I understand why Xavier was on your mind after last night. I mean, night, yeah, huh? I mean, Providence. <laughs> yeah. Castle has it knocked away by Dunlap. John Ooh. Xavier. Yeah. I mean, it's just unreal. Yeah. Castle right back at you. Right, when I talk about transition, the shot goes up if you can't get working in on Dingle. Look at those quick hands. Recovery on the offensive glass, though. Great defensive work. Edge of four just into the game and heard from immediately coming up with himself. A little too strong with that jump hook over Klingon. They want to get Donovan Klingon away from the hoop. Castle too strong and it's pulled away by Lewis. He's an athlete, but he hasn't been able to. He is to keep the ball in the perimeter out of the middle. Stefan taking it inside, rejected again. Great work from Glenn Taylor deflecting that one. Spencer takes it down. Newton on a run out with his man Castle. High rising to the top of it, too. 20 Todd. Uh, they're one of the best at closing out halves. So it's not going to be an easy task. No doubt. Castle, beautiful. Different. It, it's so much of a difference now to watch him a nice little jump shot. Ten lead changes in the first half. Cross court pass. And another one nailed by Stefan Castle. The cup. Castle off the pick from Klingon. This kid is just tremendous. His, his balance, and as you mentioned, well, you know, Connecticut's got uh, it's such a power program, so many eyeballs on every one of their games. Loose ball, there's Castle! Dingle dislodged the ball. He had to regain. Alexin, under 10 to shoot. Castle. Again, rejected by Soriano, right to Spencer. One to shoot. Oh, right away, but you're going to have to help on Carter. I don't care who's guarding him in a white uniform. Castle. Now, that's the young man that probably has a higher ceiling for... There he is again, right there in the painted area. He'll search and find yeah. the lane. Smart, because... Well, speaking of uh, Purdue being in overtime tonight with Northwestern, they went to overtime the last time they played. Right. Castle. What a job Chris Collins has done. Oduro brings down the rebound, and here come the Friars the other way in his chest. Trying to work the dribble handoff, and Duell just would not allow it. Here's Castle for three. Oduro with a great block out. No, in the scouting report... Spencer now working on Dual. And he gives it up. Oh, we heard Kim Eames from deep. Run down by Spencer. Length of the floor to Castle. Great defensive work. What a recovery by Ticket Gaines. Dual made up his mind, didn't he? He was going to launch that time. Just too much playing around with the basketball. Oh, and Newton finds Castle, who went to the top of the... Two and a half minutes gone by. Friars up by three. And a three ball is rattled home by Castle. Got to do it. 
Now he Black. On the switch, Floyd now with Samson Johnson. Castle works in on Castro. He was wise that time not to pick up the foul. Sp no one really looking towards the basket. Oh. Castle. Now there's an answer for you. Stefan Nichols. In our game tonight. Castle goes crossover. Count it. And a foul. 11-2 run, very quietly, an 11-2 run here for Connecticut. And this guy's the reason, really. Castle, look at him. Nothing you can do with him. He's taking the game over. He has. 40 I mean, in a moment or two. He dominated the first five minutes of the second half. Rejected here. Boy, he stayed with it, though. Out to Caravan for the three. In the Big East, they started Big East play one and three. Their season was kind of teetering, but they pulled it together to win three of their last four coming in. That was halfway down from Castle. Well, Xavier is a team that's not very... Assorts. Bringing back it into the low post. Swings it back out. Cam Spencer. Eight on the timer. It's Castle lining up a three. And it's a 10-0 start for Utah. Well, Castle looks... This right there running Xavier out of the building. Oh no! Oh no! They did not just do that! Newton! That's the Xavier team that averages close to 77 points a game. They have just been outclassed from the get go. Castle this time. And again, Castle has been aggressive. Your eligibility. Well, that was essentially their starting front court. Yeah. That's now, you know, gone for the whole season. Castle, well defended. Save, but with the shot clock expired. I think that hit the rim. He's trying to slow down this UConn offense. Castle duck under. This year back in his second stint, they immediately went to the Sweet 16. And this is after a long drought of limited postseason success for the X Men. With a timer inside of seven. Spencer's been lighting it up from three lately, feeding the wing. Uh, attempt from Castle off the mark. Stefan Castle, who's been great as a fresh two for 12 from the field. Yeah, that's the shot they must hit. They have to hit 50% of those open threes. They're coming up empty from three. Block inside, and then a foul is called on the putback truck. Coming in. Trying to knock off the number one team in the nation. Steph Kessel, the player with a couple of fouls, had to sit for a good chunk of that half and rebound for Armstrong. Newton, pick and roll didn't work, but Johnson driving to the hoop. They kick to Kessel, who hits a three to reestablish the UConn lead. And that's a second. As Villanova back within two. Once again, a little stagnant on the offense. Castle off the mark from three. Tap back out by Johnson, recovered by Burton. Two good play. There's Newton. Probing. Stephon Castle. Nice play by Caravan. He may have knocked it out. Caravan, kind of game number one, right? That's correct. Offensive rebound. That was McDermott's concern. Look at the shot blocker. Paul Brenner stood in. Scramble for it here, and it will stay. Well, that'll you become experienced quickly. <laughs> Castle. Newton. Well, not a lot. Good looking prospect, I think. Arabella taking the challenge here. Castle. Cough runner with the rebound. So, what does Creighton need to do differently? <laughs> Down to eight, it's Castle. The five star oh, freshman. That. that was nasty. How about that? Talk about some lingerie on the deck. That was a big concern for Creighton. Uh, Luke trying to post up. Castle, short. Miller with the board. Ashworth back in with two fouls. Johnson denied him. Boy, they are on top of their game on that end of the floor. Castle, Kaufbrenner stopped him in his tracks. Quickman to the ball. The rim, Johnson does. Caravan, this place ready to burst. Castle with another offensive rebound. He can't connect. They got four looks.
Here's Newt. He caught fire in the first half. They've been staying off Castle. Caravan with another offensive rebound. They haven't scored in three and a half minutes. Spencer. Nice give. Castle. Couldn't hit the bunny. This is what they could do is get quicker. In I for first in the Big East with upstart Seton Hall. Shot they, clock at four. They do it, man. They got him stuck. Castle. They've given him that shot all night, and now he makes a bay. And now you know you're in trouble. Seven, 17 offensive rebounds for Fnatic. Mm. Yeah, no fast break opportunities. On 31 at midfield. New. It deflected, picked up by Castle, time running out, and an air ball, and good defense from the Hoyas on the other end. Well, we talked to Ed Cooper. We talked about Epps, yeah, they're trying to get him going, but he gets rejected by Diara. Out the pass, Castle ran into resistance, and a wild take, rebound for the Hoyas. Mr. Newton coming off a double-double against Xavier on Wednesday. Castle now trying to turn the corner against Epps, who's swiping at the ball, forced a hurried shot, Cook comes down with a rebound. Castle for Newton, a high action here. Castle lines one up, and knocks it down. And one of the things coming into the season, Trying to make himself available down the lane. He's floated back out to Castle. Six to shoot. Castle fadeaway short. Rebound went right to the waiting hands of Newton. I think the call was pointed the wrong direction, but they got it right in possession. Uh, there's a nice pass from Carabac. Keith off the switch, guarding Spencer. Spencer trying to split his way to the lane, beating Castle from outside. Too strong on the three. Rebound tapped back out by Epsa Heath. Castle for three. I thought that was a settle. Green able to box out. Tristan Newton for the rebound. Yeah, Castle to the rack. Mm -hmm. The three-point opportunity for Stefan Castle. Whether it's in transition or in the half court, with the matchups that Xavier has on Castle, he has fouls. Stripped away by Caravan. Two on one for UConn. Throw the lob to Castle. Somehow able to get it to go through. That's athleticism right there. And that's what Castle passes on the three. Namiksha on skates. And Castle goes right to the rim. And Jeff, that's that mismatch we were talking about. Castle. And just throws it away. Sean Miller is hot on the Xavier sideline. There's Castle for the jam. Remember what we talked about earlier about. Castle goes baseline. Castle reverse. Boy, a freshman can play. One to shoot, Castle for three. And Djokovic pulls in the rebound. Really got to get going now. Got to drive him. Got to get going. Castle fires away. No good. Oliveri and a foul by Newton. No mission to come dramatically to get points out of that possession. Gotta take one now because... Castle goes right to the hoop. Seven-point lead for UConn. Thought they should have taken one there here early. We're in a stance for 27 seconds on this opening possession. Castle, quick fire, air ball, and Butler pulled serve on that first defensive trip. Castle down on this end, coming off 14 points, seven rebounds. And a win against DePaul on the take. Floater, no. Johnson way upstairs, guide for the offensive rebound. Spencer off on the three. And saved by Davis, but into the hands of UConn, and that ends the run with Castle. Heads up play by Castle, could reap the flat. One for five from three. Mm -hmm. Castle mid-range. Look at We said it earlier. Castle's got what a beautiful pass in front of the run by Cap for Capke. Castle mid-range. That was a settle. He's got a drive here. Second chance at it though, and Stewart puts it back. So 
foul trouble late in that half for UConn. Had him play small most of the final eight minutes of the half. With Samson Johnson back in there. There's definitely some more heat on that sideline right now. I can feel it all the way across the court on my side. Two straight turnovers here for Butler. This one for Castle. One on one with Alexander. But the balance and the poise. Wild shot. Down to Johnson. Wild shots are like turnovers. Here comes Castle. Three in a row for UConn yep. in the open court. Caravan getting late. Castle, four on the clock. And drills it. That's a big shot by Steph's game. That was the priority area for this DePaul staff this morning. Rebounding, Stefan Castle to the rim. Now Odin and Woo! Johnson's having his own block party. Three rejections. Such great activity. Start your break. Castle, ah, an air ball. Yeah, it's, it's one of those spots where he's been struck. That one, Castle got a piece of it. Settling for jump shots. And now Castle, the freshman star. Block. Closest guy to you. Fisher off. Spencer to Newton. Newton, poetry in motion. It's Castle with the jam. Castle all the way. Stefan Castle. Just so strong. Henley is off. Newton with the vision. Nice dish for the bucket by Castle. He's got 12. Just a little bit too late on that steal. Castle with a Euro. Stefan Castle with 14 points and seven dishes. Awesome balance there, using that strength. That's worth the piece of gear a lot. Castle, cut off. Baseline turn, pivot, block, loose. Picked up Soriano, nicely done by Glenn Taylor for minutes. Seven to shoot. Castle, spinning, weaving, hangs in the air. Partially blocked by Ledlin. Picked up by Soriano. Here comes Danis. Castle, created, cut off, forced it up. In and out. Batted around, and it's Ledlin with the rebound. If that can skew the other way. In the second half. So we start the second half. Connecticut with the basketball. Castle gets the puppies organized. His shot off the mark. Rebounded by Newton. Castle again. Now Spencer. Nice dunk down. Blocked by Soriano. And Castle on the court for the Huskies. Zone being applied by St. John's. Castle weaves. Ball blocked by Soriano. Castle gets it. Stayed out of the way. Castle. Drive. And hits. Stephon Castle made 15 Texas. Number 9, North Carolina. Number 10, Gonzaga. 15 footer. Castle. And here come the Red Storm with a chance to take the side. Tiara. The kick, Newton. And tipped up and in by Castle. And we're level at six. Soriano, dangerous. He could have picked up his fit. Castle the other way. And one. You're not going to get much better three than that. Castle with some separation. Castle is more of a driver right now, and he gets the roll off the back of the iron. And that time Seton Hall fell asleep in transition. They didn't, the charge almost hot in the game. Right. We don't even see him anymore. Castle with the shot clock at seven. Castle crosses over, doesn't get the runner to go down, and a foul called against the Huskies. Much to the... They have 13 points to seven on second chance points. They had just outplayed them. Newton. Inbound to Castle. Castle forces the action and gets the bucket to go down. Athletic. From Eastern Washington was injured and out for the year. And he's a good cut by Castle. Boy, wide open under the basket. And a great feed from Spencer there is Castle, the freshman, his band. A 
Johnson doing a nice job of extending that catch. Hassan Diara in the game for the Huskies as well. Castle from 15, missed it, and it's down to Nemhart. Really good, just needs to show patience as a freshman. He's got a lot of good players ahead of him. Castle, he can get into the paint at will, it seems. Missed the shot, and Huff cradles the rebound. There in Klingon, and then he got a lethal three-point shooter on the wing and Spencer. Pick your poison. Castle blocked. And Stromer down with it. Here come the Zags. Well, give credit to Ryan Nemhart. Hickman has it knocked away. Castle. Euro steps around Nemhart and lays it in to make it a 10-point game. Well, one thing you cannot do against his way around the Gonzaga offense. He's so good at Creighton. And he'll be equally as good. Castle got it off in time, but left it short. The first half will come to a close after a... Only got 1-3 in this game. Tough to win that way when you just got to make tough twos all game long. And the amazing thing is Connecticut, and you've said it a couple of times, they can beat you in so many different ways. What they've only got one offensive rebound in the game. Now, they've, they haven't missed all that many shots, yeah, 14, yeah. but they, they've only got one, but they're finding so many other ways to win. Well, there, there's the second, second. <laughs> Castle looks really confident out there. Whoop. That's the next step. And there kept alive. Diara with the rebound. They get a new clock. Castle has an opening. Takes it right to the basket. And was he able to save it? And it's going to be B, but didn't finish the play. I try to finish those. That was good hesitation and a look. Castle right down the lane, and it's in there. Good timeout. And how about this? 31-29 UConn. They've come to play. Castle. Nothing doing there. Rebound. Pine Bluff. Rashad William Newton. Had it knocked out of his hand for a moment. Castle. Probing goes in. That's beautiful English. Great athleticism to score that goal from Newton and spin dribble. Oh, what a pass! Could not finish. And it'll be a foul at the bottom. This is going to be good minutes for Castle too. Right here. Get a minute. Right back away. Everything he's gotten gypped with that. With the injured turnover and a breakout for Connecticut. A little too strong to put back. Boy, they got an answer for everything, don't they? That's got to feel good for the first. Caravan open on the wing. Castle with a rebound, but he can't finish it. And it's Carolina ball. Five on four. Truly guard one through five. Castle, wide right on the three, and it's Carolina ball with some momentum. Good defender. Caravan puts it on the deck. Castle, up and in. Ingram went for the steal and took himself out of. Pound the paint and established their inside game early. Good mixture of youth and experience in the Yukon starting lineup. Here's Castle, a three-pointer from the corner is too strong. Newton chases down the rebound, and there's Kling inside. A little off the mark. Again, UConn all over the boards. It's no for ball, but the tip-in is good. I think that was Castle, but, you know, say, uh, UConn is sending three guys to the offense. Some full-court pressure by Stonehill. Castle handling it all the way. Long strikes to the basket. That was impressive by the freshman. Uh, you just can't teach that. That's the talent. And there's the other guy. Yep. Two man tandem. Clinging with the block, Castle with the finish. In the open court, he can't be stopped. And that's what's most impressive about him. Newton, oh, excuse me, go. Castle picks the pocket. And a little tomahawk to finish. Taking it to the basket in the first half. He's gotten a couple of jumpers to go. Castle comes up just short. Great move, though. He's holding the team for 39% and opposed the three-point field goal for three-point percentage, holding teams to 29%. And then also holding teams to 64. So 
Defensively, they're no hangover. Stefan Castle. Klingon with the offensive rebound. In in the between the years, if you will, John. So you know you have to know where he is on the floor at all times. Castle. And that fell in for Stefan Castle, his first points as a husky. Can you give him assist and and now Klingon Hoist? Three freshmen working together to get themselves situated. Castle. Stefan Castle. Ooh. Welcome to Connecticut. I love it. The future right now for the Connecticut Huskies. Castle on an island. Oh, that was nasty. Stefan Castle putting on a show in his Huskies debut. Free throw shooting getting better. Jones drop into the hole. Loose ball picked up. 21-17, Connecticut. Outlet pass. Finds it. Gets there. Short. Rebound. Off the rim. Bling it in there fighting. 13 points, 9 assists, 5 rebounds for Tristan Newton. And he does it. It goes easier. A lead. No. Tori Allen there. Misses it at point blank range. Castle the other way. Diagonal pass. Newton on the move. Leaves it. Rising fire. Caravan off the back. Glenn Taylor Jr. the other way. Leslie spinning. Castle. Out front. Diara. This time Taylor gets back. Is the best of the best. Man. Educated fans here. A lead. Possession error. Needs to know. Now Jenkins. The lock inside. Soriano can't lay it down. Castle the other way. 73 to 61. Approaching the 10 minute mark of the second half. Jenkins has been confident today. This is this one. Castle driving, hanging. Can't get it to fall. Gets his own rebound. Squirts it out to Klingon. New shot clock. Dribble handoff play. And this one thing with UConn and fell asleep in transition and got away with it. They're going to force you to guard all of the real estate on the court. It's to be a lot of movement off the court. Hurley wouldn't say soft in a huddle, will he? <laughs> well, I mean, it may start with that letter. Yeah. I know you yeah. know a couple things behind it. <laughs> <laughs> so Green made his first, but has missed his last two from deep. What a freshman season for Castle. Yeah. Stewart, the kid from Seattle, off the heel, and yet another offensive rebound. Newton pumps again. The iron uncuts ball again, and they are getting their offensive rebounds. Another one. You take a three, you get a long board, and they know where to be. Yeah, but not finding the range right now. Even that side help, Usman able to come, take away Castle, and then, uh, I was going to say finish, but yep. he hit the other side of the backboard on that shot well, he worked so hard defensively he forgot to spot up that shot on the other end on the offensive glass Connecticut human pogo sticks but they can't hit a couple missed opportunities in this first half it's recycle opportunity for green step back three here comes castle the other way Appreciate his talent folks because he may not be around. He's moving down the floor like someone a lot smaller than his size And that's what Danny Hurley wants the Lead is ballooned a jumper game off the back rim Reloading Pierre off the back rim Stefan Last year so UConn wants to kind of duplicate that effort and Devin Still short on that shot Providence one of their last nine Spencer for three Klingon Newton Stefan Caravan down the lane floater in and out long rebound picked up the kick Caravan when Tristan Newton had the triple-double Carter 
and he didn't hit a shot until the final <laughs> shot exactly. of the game. <laughs> Castle the other way, lays it up and in easily. Carter. Hey. Castle with the rebound in traffic. Spencer rising. Oduro shows it. Misses the jam. Stefan with the rebound. Cross court. Does such a great job, job screening. Ends up with a layup at the rim. Boy, must be nippy in here. It was earlier. He kind of missed it. Did. And got it to Stewart. It's Castle to miss. Look who's there, though. Stewart again. And the cut to score for Castle. Green. Trying to get a switch to Klingon. Spencer stays at home. Hard ricochet by Jones. And this is the pressure they put on you. Look at this oh, run out by Caravan. By Castle. And that's the pressure. Post up Klingon. One on one with Betty Ako. And they, they play him straight up. Klingon couldn't finish it. Good hustle by What a pass. Inside Caravan and it's Castle with the beauty. And no two for one. Dawes give it up. Richmond straight away off the rim and they can hold for one and that's not really his game Klingon shot clock winding down Castle trying to make it happen pretty misses on the fade a good lot good shot too shot clock didn't reset when it hit the rim. I said good looks the jumper options ever no rebounded by Castle looking to run Nobody back to look at the Wildcats have won four of their last five to keep their NCAA tournament hopes alive. In transition, no. They missed the easy one. Hit in that time, excellent footwork as we know from Villanova. New three. Short. Loose ball. Rebound by Castle. They swing it. Newton reloads. Way short. Armstrong in and out dribble to the basket, gets to the hole, rims up. And those are the baskets when you're struggling to figure out ways to put the ball through the net, guys, that you got to make. Oh. Armstrong turns the corner, left hand, too strong. Castle has it poked away. It and how he built his teams because the landscape is totally different. Out of bounds, and it's Connecticut basketball, 1.30 to go. <laughs> when Karen, Alice Carabin didn't shoot it, the whole crowd was like, shoot! Boy. Okay. Rebound, Castle. Maybe the last chance right here for Newton to get that triple-double. And the fans... To the party. And Gold can take you off the dribble as well. Yeah, I like that matchup. I mean, in the short stint, he's going to give up some size inside on the offensive end, defensive end. Oh, Jalen. Jalen Stud. People used to say that to me all the time. I'm telling he came in, transferred from Juco. Beautiful backdoor cut. And that movement, it lulled you to sleep because Tristan Newton will come in to move in. And they're pitching a shutout now in the last four minutes. And Danny Hurley is getting it got away with it. They're going to force you to guard all of the real estate on the court. This will be a lot of movement off the ball. Beautiful pass inside the Klingon. And I hope he got the memo while he was yep. on the bench. You better run the floor for me. But... Ooh, what a cut. And another pass. And another dunk from Klingon. There. Every loose ball opportunity going their way as well. Spencer, oh yeah. white flag well but think about talent this Xavier team is poised to be very competitive oh beautiful pass wow. once again and you know not letting off the gas and Providence turns it over their first castle driving the kick in the corner caravan pure beautiful play that time by castle wise be caravan down the lane floater in and out long rebound picked up the kick, Caravan. And the Huskies continue. That adds value to what we do as a team. 
and that's important to them. Castle, nice look. Landing easy. Providence just falling apart now. Yep. A lot of drop shoulders, drop heads. Scored so far tonight. Look how active Caravan is and Spencer. Both free on the same trip. Spencer off the curl for three. Hard ricochet by Jones. Now this is the pressure they put on you. Look at this oh, run out by Caravan. By Castle. And that's the pressure of the flow. Rebound, push, get the open. Foot. He's been big tonight. He's got 10. Spencer's activity once again. Look how he gets himself free and set. Uses clinging, knows how to space out. One on one with Betty Ako. They, they play him straight up. Clinging couldn't finish it. Hustle by what a pass. Inside Caravan and it's Castle with the beautiful dish. They all stay at home. Some help. Tough look off the ricochet controlled by Castle. Newton, the jumper, and no hand done by Rispin. No. Rebounded by Castle. Looking to run. Nobody back. To look at the the throwdown. Would you call? Inside, Clinton, great right position. Jump hook, got it. How simple can it get when you... Oh, don't leave the ball. And that oh. stops a 10-0 run in emphatic fashion. Uh, uh, Got to be alert. Talk. That's a great find by Castle into the corner of the Diara. How, how good of a find was that by Castle? Just knocked it in. And he's still on the deck. Spencer's on the other end of the floor. It's five on four here for Caravan. Carabingo, bingo. Cat's shoulders are slumping as they continue to share it and share it. For the season, then, as with most freshmen, got to give him a little bit of time to get comfortable. He's been playing really well as of late. He's comfortable, and that's what Caravan can do. He's so, I mean, Bass, tremendous catch and finish. Klingon couldn't do anything about it. The other thing that Klingon does well, he's a good passer. And for a big, that's such a huge thing. That's a three. That's a sweet stroke. I can watch him kept it in play. Castle in transition. Down the lane. Drops it off. Klingon catch buckets. That's exactly what I've been talking about, though. Pick and rolls. That time kind of in drag. Newton. In the middle. Why not? Again! Five of seven. Have a nice on tonight. Newton in that backcourt along with Castle. Shot clock's under 10. Castle pumps it into the corner. Long three on the way, and it's good. Jalen Stewart, who hasn't shot. Nelson has seven in the game. Why not? Wide open. Stewart again. Three in a row. Normal operation. A little tight ball screen here in the nice pocket pass. Another one. Playing it finishes. And everybody else is on the other side. It's a two man game. Clever. The Eastern, where Jim Calhoun was coaching before he made it to Connecticut to start this dynasty of championships. Spencer. Can go and hide on him. Tristan Newton with that pilfer. And a return to Cinder. Look at that. In the lane, Klingon picking it up. At this UConn team that he had the ball, he immediately looked up and hit Lettenham for that transition basket. Spencer. Mm. Mm. Nylon. The teams know how to respond, don't they? Oh, IQ. Spencer from downtown. Two, three. This needs to get a little bit better in every facet, right? Rebounding and scoring a ton. Yeah, with that, before the last game, a great pass there by Castle and a nice cut by Caravan, who was one of the best cutters in the Big East. Always he, he caused that steal right there. So this has been an impressive day. Oh, my goodness. The vision from Castle to another true freshman in Jalen Stewart. Digits. And we're past the midway point of the half.
This has been a clinic on both ends by the Huskies. As Newton adds to the total, and Sean Miller calls timeout. Newton now up to 19. Clinging. And that's just where he gets his lunch money. Yep. Yeah, he's just too big in his footwork and the ability to catch and turn. I go up and see what I got against him, and uh, boy, that competitive fire shows through. And he's going to be a force in March. I mean, he's. I, I think. Trying to throw it back off of Caravan. Winds up taking a carom right to Castle. Caravan, the shot fake. A three. Yes. Yeah, that shot fake. It was terrific on his part to get down the floor and not. Five on the same page when it comes to playing basketball. Spencer dumps it down low. What a pass! Castle to Johnson. Hello. Yeah, there's their unselfish play to a T. Been without Donovan Klingon. As this gets popped back out, Huskies have numbers three on one off court. Caravan knocks down another triple. That's that modern age. And remember, no Donovan Klingon makes him a little bit thinner, but that's why you have to challenge the big guy inside. Nice vision. Castle, then the extra pass for Johnson. I love that. that Second in the offense, not a lot of room to work with. Spencer found some room, and he bounces one in. Oh, little switch created some space for Spencer. Tell you, just you can't leave him. All in first place at the end of the night. We'll send you up to Connecticut for the Huskies and Xavier. Welcome those of you that were just watching Sandy. Dominating in the paint so far. Xavier taking advantage. Caravan slips out and hits his third three of the game. You have to lock and trail him. After him getting to his right shoulder that time on the right block, getting to his right shoulder. Nice great slip from Spencer on the baseline. Yeah, back pick. Xavier's supposed to switch that action. They didn't. That's a step back three. One of the most difficult shots to make on the floor from Desmond Clark. Spencer on the curl hits the three. Jalen Stewart with a rejection of McKnight. Yara for three. Got it. Here come the Huskies. Jara's now five of hard if you're going to play for Steve Peichel at Rutgers. That's right. <laughs> Trying to bleed into that pain. Spencer got it to go. And Spencer, 17 points. Xavier had the look. Get back on defense. Wow. Tiara, wide open lane for two. That just parted like the Red Sea. Transition defense has to feed the sneak in the gap. Really nice pass by DJ Davis. Doing a lot of things well on offense right now. DJ Davis and Spencer can do that for pretty much any spot on the floor. Under the lead, down on this end. And Spencer fell down. Newton says, I got this. And tags in a three. How clip. Butler back in front. After a 15 4 UConn run. Trying to start another. That's so good. They went to set a little wide. Brooks just hit the three, so not the timeout, and that'll count. Telford hit it on the way down with Caravan into the rim. That's so good. Sir. That's where they're dangerous. Solo ball. Catch. I'll tell you what, he has grown up so much in such a short time. Hassan Diara, the kid from Queens. Not his specialty, but when he's knocking down, all provided some help. The freshman doing work. Spencer again. <laughs> UConn has shown this season it gets boring playing against the zone. Solo ball connects. Yeah, that's a great answer there. Great.
Here's Castle. He has dazzled at times tonight. Johnson with the feed from Castle, his fifth assist. You know what I love about Samson Johnson? Corner three a little short. Here they come again. Castle off to Caravan. Castle has six assists. Spencer off a screen. Cam Spencer's automatic. He's got 20. St. John's in a zone. I like it. I like it. Inside. Jackson! Jam with two hands. Castle, seven to shoot. Caravan and knocks it down. Got this crowd back into it, clinging down low. Double team doesn't matter. Kisses it off the glass. Caravan cutting. Caravan free to the basket. Caravan lays it in. That was a great cut. His ankle. Within a few weeks, he'll have 700 points. He's really let it go to his head, though, hasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> boy, boy, is he tough to talk to. The tough most, to deal with. The most and Dusty Stromer both sticking their noses in there. And Ben Gray got, got a, took a shot in his. But Gonzaga came up with a rebound. Newton with a deep three. And it's again an eight-point lead for the... But very unusual for a team in this day and age to play 17 minutes and only take one three. And UConn, five for six. Make it six for seven. From three as Spencer knocks down another one. Right, a regular still in here for UConn. Caravan, a deep three. Mm. That's his calling card, everybody. That's, they were both threes. Castle. Oh, boy. He was calling for it. You know he's feeling it. Give me the ball. I'll tell you what, that's his zip code right there. Well, I, I mean, that, that is just coming, man. He's not afraid. Got to give Williams. It's a moxie. Boy, who can't shoot a three on this team? Cam getting in on it. The play call. There's the elbow catch looking at the high low. Good pass. Ball, the lefty gets it off and hits again. Well, he's going to be a really good player. He's good now. Just a lefty combo guard that can really turn into big plays. And that's why he was so good in the national championship run last year. There's Castle, a kick out. Newton, top of the arc, and five quick points for the Huskies. Well, he has a calmness about him. He's looking to run Cam Spencer. Good ball movement, Caravan. And there's Castle, a tough, hard nosed player with the offensive rebound. Two for two from Newton. Yeah. Well, everything is coming off the pass, and that's this is a learning opportunity for them. And they expect UConn to make some runs, but this zone defense has got to be more aggressive in protecting the paint. And Klingon inside again. Too much to handle. It's been all clear. Second chance, no good either, and there's Castle. Castle directing traffic. Spencer, there he finds it. It's a great job of... Camp Stinson's three, grabbed by Castle. Eyes up, Caravan uses the rim and lays it in. The Caravan is just spinning. And he got done with all that, and he called his agent and said, I need to focus on basketball. Let's limit everything so that I can dominate like that. Because it's easy. Every night you're getting asked, what about this, what about that? So, really nice job, obviously. Back door left open for Solomon Ball. Dribble penetration on Osa. Castle. Lost it. Picked up. Cam Jones. Bling it. Seven to shoot. Castle. Nice. Look inside, but it's stolen away as Chase Ross steps in the passing lane. Third turnover. Has he? Can't hold on, and he commits foul. But her fingers on that trip. A little.
nuance. Quick trigger, folks. He can really shoot the rock. Pass a talented freshman, probably his last year. And first and only year. And he's called for an offensive foul. The value of... And this time, it's Jenkins. They beat Seton Hall 91-72 here yesterday in the quarterfinals. And a steal, Jenkins again. A very eerily similar session, another opportunity. Castle walked on the ball fake against McKnight. Timeout. Danny Hurley. Here comes Castle the other way. Appreciate his talent, folks, because he may not be around very long. A steal by Olivari. A sloppy play here by both teams. I alluded to that foul line area. They like to pop somebody right in there, and they go man at the end here. Yeah, and it's Castle called for the offensive foul on the discard of Ross. Swing it. Caravan for Klingon. One on one. Hutchins Everett holding his ground. And a knockaway. Richmond gets it ahead for Davis. Davis does a good job boarding over. The players are playing much better. Villanova after a rough pass. Wildcats have won four of their last five to keep their NCAA tournament hopes alive. In transition, no. Newt, pick and roll. Turns hard down the lane. To the basket. Villanova. Good hand. Yeah, good, good lateral foot quickness. First half. Now Newt, who's not been off at all. Back out to Castle. Ooh, and won. there is a trap. Yeah, he just caught the three, so they take the three. A pretty good closeout set that. He just can't reach. Castle working on Kolick. That ball was deflected. Igadaro got a hand on it. And the first live ball turnover. Clinging the offensive rebound. Spencer a third opportunity, and Castle had it stripped. Shot altered by Klingon. Castle took too many steps. And that's where Castle has to get the ball is on, on the floor. Ground. Klingon is clawing for it. And we have a tie up. It'll go to Butler. I thought Castle had that open look, too. They knew before he. Cam Spencer has really been a find. Both defensively and offensively. Castle, who's got a great future ahead, turns it over. Jenkins comes the other way. Signs it's a double-edged sword. Now it's all balanced and zeros right now. That's going to go the other way. Rare that you see them hold the ball too long. That's a Johnson. Spencer looking for room. A touch pass across goes around. Two on one. Numbers for Villanova and the late great Spencer. Castle and Newton ran into each other. Creighton has numbers. numbers. Mason Miller. Wow. It's St. John's last night. Yeah. Castle dumps it on. And Johnson didn't fully expect it, so it goes back to the Blue Jays. Well, he has a nice football card. Only Castle, we saw that play. Jets. Offensive foul on Castle. Well, Danny wants a flop. Today. Castle through to nobody. He thought that Pam Spencer was going to be there a moment or two before he arrived. Huskies and Xavier. Welcome those of you that were just watching St. John's at the Garden. Alex Caravan fires another th Gonna drive on Usman out of bounds off of Castle. You told a great story about Quincy Oliveri. You met him this summer. <laughs> yes. Walked up to me and uh, said, guard, small forward guard them inside and just bully ball over his left shoulder. I like it. Nine points, 11 boards. Spencer, his fingertips. And a turnover for UConn. They do to answer this run. As Castle ends up on the floor, creates the turnover, but right back into the hands of Xavier. Johnny had it ripped away. And now it's Oliveri who ends up with it and a foul.
Back and forth, nobody wanted the possession. It was hot potato. I'll tell you what, you're talking about a team in the country. You probably need at least 10 plus. All hands on deck. A poke out for one of the best in the Big East at doing that, but UConn gets it right back. Good balance tonight for UConn. Yes. Five guys with eight plus points and a turnover for Castle. Three ball erases a lot of issues when you're on the road. Here is Stefan Castle. Up top to Johnson and a turnover. Finished by Fisher. You brought up to Paul's talent, Donnie. Elijah Fisher was a five star recruit out of high school as Castle commits the offensive foul. Elijah. Castle. And he gave it away. Yeah, it's all about understanding what you're supposed to do at that high post when you catch that ball. Now Newt in the corner, Castle. And he steps off the sideline or the baseline out of bounds. Danny Hurley, the son of Bob Hurley Sr., the brother of games while playing at Santa Clara. But he's already got nine in 11 games for the Hall. That ball's tipped and the turnover forced. Richmond with some good hands on the inbounds. They for clinging. A lot of banging in there. Castle has it knocked away. And Seton Hall forces the turnover. Good defense that time. Freshman mistake by Castle leaving his... Spencer's covered by Dawes. Castle has the ball deflected away. Richmond saw that the whole way. Blue. There, he was even unhappier. But they get it. Stromer comes up with a loose ball. A great read of the pass by Anton Watson. There's the value of Watson. They're passing, cutting, moving the defense around, and Carolina's yet to turn them over. Sling it. Knocked away. I think Ingram was the guy who punched it out of there. Austin Abrams goes back door with the reverse. Castle loses the handle there. Felder is fouled hard by Ball. The basketball. Castle gives it away this time. CJ Ford. They'll look to run. Will these lumber jacks? You know, I, I, I really thought last year's team won as much as anything else. I love the team. I love the way they play together. But here's the thing I really liked. You could go to the bench. Joey. <laughs> Castle. That's, a pass. That's a freshman pass to your 7 2 center. He's breathing hard right now, too. Gus. And Providence turns it over. Their first Castle driving, the kick. pressing that, and coming out to a blazing start. And a steal. Castle. And foul coming up the floor by Carter. And that's Devin Carter's first. Done when your man doesn't have the ball because of the continual motion of UConn, which gets you out of position. Here's a steal. Castle. And Klingon roll right to the basket for the easy two. Spencer with five assists. Yeah. Klingon. Oh. That's my arrows right there, circle right there. Isaiah Coleman, who is just getting over an illness. Freshman from Fredericksburg, Virginia. Steal. Castle. Oh, Points, eight assists. Uh, good. Another deflection up go. ahead. Castle is going to take it inside. You're ahead in this game by three now. We'll make it five. Little, we'll make it five, I mean. Make it five. And then you did turn over here. Twelve minutes left. You don't want to know what to do on offense. Lead is down to two. Connecticut makes its run. There again is the defense. Cancel with the deflection. Spencer gives it back to Cassie. Pass. And that's a, just a great job finding the open man. Xavier still in single digits. And we're past the midway point of the half. This has been a clinic on both ends. Tushin and a great cut by Newton who got back door. And that unselfishness comes out again. And McKnight 
Got himself up in the air with a little indecision. Her attention to detail on the perimeter in particular is fabulous. Burton tried to throw it back off of Caravan. Winds up taking a carom right to Castle. Caravan, the shot face, a three. These kids pay attention to detail as we've got them going right now. Oh, goodness. Easy turnover. A fourth by Creighton. The Jays stuck in a rut. Now Xavier on the other end. What can they do to answer this run? As Castle ends up on the floor, creates the turnover, but right back into the hands of Xavier. Johnny had it ripped away. And now it's Oliveri who ends up with it and a foul. Back and forth. Hands on back. A poke out for one of the best in the Big East at doing that, but UConn gets it right back. After Alexander had hands on. Newton short. Asked you about the temperature in the UConn locker room. Mm -hmm. There's definitely some more heat on that sideline right now. I can feel it all the way across the court on my side. Two straight turnovers here for Butler. This one for Castle, one on one. That's the best two year run in Connecticut basketball history. It's spectacular. It, it really is. And He's done a really nice job of picking his spots when he's getting into the refs, backing up a little bit. He's really found a way to trust his play. Play in the first half. Five-point game, ball tipped away. Richmond got a hand on it, then he lost it. And, and, and he's always been one of the top guys in the Big East when it comes to steals. And there we another. go, another one. <laughs> Martin looking for help. Good defense. Look out. Great call by Nathan That Hull. defense was outstanding. Not by Stefan place. Castle. Yep. Mississippi Valley State Cherry Race. Mm. Turnover. And a breakout for Connecticut. A little too the game for Cam Spencer. He now has eight. Newton, oh, here we go. Castle picks the pocket. <laughs> and a little tomahawk to finish. See what you hear early this season. I think there's going to be a lot of talk about the offensive prowess of this UConn team. Look at the hustle there by the freshman. Going to the floor. Any fear is the key to the game like this. Here's the other side of the attention clinging garners because Newton and open lane. Bodies to the floor. And Stefan Castle will get an ovation with plays like that. Still sharing the basketball. 14 assists. Look out. Here's Castle, they've got numbers. Castle laying it off. Jones. Got a quick trigger. His left hand is his strong hand. And he has no problem going right, as he does there. But Castle says, get it out of here. And the challenge for Castle. 69-55. 13 points, 9 assists, 5 rebounds for Tristan Newton. A little contentious and are not easy to convert. Great uh -huh. defense that time by Xavier. Numbers green hey. rejected. Huskies got the memo at halftime. Flash <laughs> of continue to put the pressure on Xavier yes. to, to stop us off the bounce and inside. Yeah. Indeed. Look at that great defense by Stefan Castle right there. Ah, Namicha comes away with one knee. <laughs> Is breathtaking. And the arrow's doing a good job on Jones, not letting him get touches. Look at that help. Castle converging. Diara flipped. Nice Castle up, and that time, Justin Moore didn't overreact to force Castle to try to make it. Down the lane, DJ Bamba, the Washington State transfer. Kyle Nepp. on the wing he finds Castle. Well, so Samson Johnson did pick up his second personal foul. He's off the floor. Klingon is back and doesn't Pierre Brooks know it. Mm -hmm. and nice help. And Castle didn't foul which is key. You know you got what a catch by Klingon. He got fleeced down low by Davis. Oh, man, really clever. He got to help and he did. Nice run here. Ooh, Captain, you got to run with a walk baby. Pretty good challenge at the rim. Could this team hit the skids a little bit if they face some adversity? Claude rejected to begin the half. Second effort puts it off the glass. Well, Claude's got to get send you up to Connecticut for the Huskies and Xavier. Welcome those of you that were just watching St. John's at the Garden. Spencer.
Claude trying to go at Castle. Claude got it back, and he'll go to the line. Kayla Murphy with the basketball now has not played since early December. That one, Castle got a piece of it. Settling for jump shot. I mean, he has a great assist to turnover ratio. Not a good shooter, but he knows what his role is. 12 minutes to play in the first half. Richmond has it swatted away. I think Castle got a piece of that. Get off to Dawes. Dawes swings it to Davis. Davis into the paint. Davis back to the basket. Turnaround jumpers blocked away. Picked up by Richmond. Count the bucket. And he scored 29 points in the first two games of the season for UConn. Baycott, strong move, but that might have been Castle who got a piece of it. And Samson Johnson right there, too. Slowly get back in the rhythm. Newton has it poked away. And Felder, ahead of the pack, right to the basket and blocked by Castle. Ben showing his ability to beat you off the bounce and finish inside. Claude counted on a foul. Namisha in there to provide a little bit of steel. Lewis. Baseline. No. Soriano. Can't get the rebound. Transfer to any championship caliber team. I know there's a lot of Hunter Dickinson fans maybe out there that would have disagree. But in terms of what UConn needs. I'm looking for help. Good defense. Look out. Great call by Nick. That defense was outstanding and get to the middle of the floor in the front of the rim and it's it's played to their advantage milton outside front that's rim caravan rebound that's probably the first block 12 and a shot clock nine and a half game in the first half williams and a hook shot williams used the hook there i mean he has a great assist to turnover ratio not a good shooter but he knows what his role is 12 minutes to play in the first half richmond has it swatted away i think castle got and can really finish around the rim. Coming off his best game since he returned from a knee injury and a travel on Posh Alexander. Undefeated at home. Ready to go 9-0, and, oh, and they've done it with Klingon, without Klingon. They've reached 80 points. For the in a great cut by Newton, who got back door. And that unselfishness comes out again. And McKnight got himself up in the air with a little indecision. Be more impressive if he can go 640 without committing a third foul. Carter and there's Oduro again. Uh oh, it's going the other way. You put Samson J Johnson in the game and using that ability. Carter for three. That was way off the mark. Castle sneak came at UConn. That really makes me excited. Hawkins already making an impact for the Pelicans. Another stop. Pounds are trying to push out of there. Northern Arizona down two starters Carson Town and Jack Richardson. With injuries that shouldn't keep them out too long, but. To give them that depth off the bench. Well, you talk about depth, because last year, obviously, Adama Sinogo, the starting center, Donovan Klingon comes in off the bench, so they never really had that big. Five point game. Good show and recover. Blocked by Johnson. Again. 51 last year. Williams down the lane. Boy, had the ball on his hip for a moment. Got it back after the block. 12 in the shot clock. And Richmond resets the offense. Richmond to the baseline. Tough shot, tough angle. Put back is good, though. Now it's 11 shots for UConn and 5 for Seton Hall. The foul was on Caravan. There's Richmond cutting to the hoop and laying it in. And that's what he can do. I don't think Danny Hurd without one of their best players, Donovan Klingon, their seventh footer, has a foot injury. He's out between two and three weeks. Caravan game. It's not a power back to the basket. It's long, athletic, active. Corner three, a little short. His team about this. Most teams turn live ball turnovers into points. Yes. With UConn, it's almost automatic. Wild shot. Down to Johnson. They're taking one there because they still have one to give. Swain. Trying to draw contact. Makes the layup instead. Nobody has one on this season as well. 
Not an easy thing to do in college basketball. Claude, no, and we'll have a foul. Turn the corner. He was out of bounds with Farabello, and that sums up the evening for the Jays. Yeah, they really. He and Mack are great pals. They're chatting on the side. Mac just started laughing. Alexander nice rejected by. Double digits here. And they're now over their last seven for the field. Five out of five. Carter's got to get the ball. Pierre from downtown got a pick from Carter. And now Carter to make it a 37 34 game. Carter altered that shot because of the size. Can't say that. Yeah. Based on what he's seen from his protege. That high off the window. That is textbook Devin Carter. He was, especially yep. early when, you know, St. John's heading into the second half had a little bit of control here. <laughs> Jenkins well, really struggled, and I think it was six, seven freshmen. Boy, they are deep, and they are good. The number one team in America. Jenkins, another step back. Too strong. Clean and clear. Didn't sit. So nobody to help him out here. Look who's there, though. Oh, <laughs> over Kling and Telford. He's a confident. You know, so Samson Johnson did pick up his second personal foul. He's off the floor. Klingen is back. And doesn't Pierre Brooks know it? Mm -hmm. A nice help. A caravan. And now Dontre Styles, the UNC transfer, stepped out of bounds. Well, Dan Hurley and his step. The truck can get it. He finished with a smile. <laughs> Clegan coming down, sweet block. Spencer, the lead is to 29. Above where I think anyone thought it would be before they hired Chaka Smart. In traffic, once again the block out by Samson Johnson. It will be wild. So many heavyweights. Alexander three to shoot fades away splashes it down the cherry on Bamba again Klingen takes it out of his hand. I guess who Klingen number lead is 11 Armstrong turns the corner left hand too strong Castle has a double handoff Dawes goes down on the play Davis with six to shoot now. It's Richmond. Nice, but he is uh, just a body attack. And Spencer there. You know, that's across the board. Carter. Scoring and rebounding for Devin Carter. And a whistle. Offensive foul on Oduro. That'll be his third. And, and the difference, and I talked about it in the down the lane, off the glass, got it. That's good patience. That time he knew that Donovan Klingon was in the drop cup. Carter. And draws contact on the three. Castle eating the cheese in championship and then the Big East tournament last year. So UConn wants to kind of duplicate that effort and Devin will short on that shot. Providence. Oduro with the rebound. Carter the other way. Pull up jumper from D. Pure. UConn, he has yet to win 0 5 here at Providence. And here's Carter somehow forcing his way in, and he'll hit his first shot. And I'll continue to put the pressure on Jaber to, to stop us off the bounce and inside. Yeah. Indeed. Look at that great defense by Stephon Castle right there. Ah, no. Two turns in their last three possessions, UConn, and Oliveri cashing in. They draw to within five again. Klingon, but then once again, here's UConn coming off the screen, and Kerpeg getting the easy shot inside. Now you can bet Claude knows that he's been scoreless. Claude again searching. He's such a great scorer, feeling his way. Now he notices Djokovic is open. He can hit that shot, as can Usman, as their Sean Miller squad. 
could not write a script any better in the first four minutes. Hello, how do you do, Olivari? In the hell. <laughs> Before it was like, yo, you can only get two, bro. I, can, I can't pay for it now. I'm like, how many you need? I got you. Jones. Got a quick trigger. His left hand is his strong hand. And he has no problems going right. As he does there, but Cassius is getting it. For Klingon of last year with Sonobo. Exactly. Now right. he's the starter, and yeah. Sam can come off the, the bench to help him a little bit. Spe spelling. You know, I, I, I really thought. Foul trouble Castle found himself in. It was also his first college game. Probably some jitters in the starting five on banner raising night for the national champs as Benigni has 19. Back to back possession, setting up a three pointer. And coming up with the steal and the dunk. Shot clock winding down. Felder's got to throw it up there over. And he's not shot it to his capability just yet. Boy, Withers, what a drive and a kick. That was well done by Withers. And then Ingram buried the three. Oh, one Martin trying to shake free. Line drive shot by Kylan Milton. I tell you, at this end, though, defense. One of minutes. I don't think any of the three has come out once tonight. Emhart for three. The pass by Anton Watson. There's the value of Watson on the defensive end. Good pass. No look pass. Stromer for three. Rebound, Diara. Spake by Watson, good recovery by the Huskies, up from the corner. And Stromer down with a loose ball. Huskies up by a deuce. Jenkins leaves his feet, top of the arc, Lindler. Soriano. Times when, when you're on that weak side, you'll see teams run a lot of matchup zones out of that 2-3. Check the closest guy to you. Here is Chico Carter. Shot clock down to seven. Again, they go deep into the timer. All oh. three of these, Elijah Fisher again. But again, Kayla Murphy with the basketball now has not played since early December. That one, Castle got a piece of it. This match inside. And Spencer got a hand on it. Green out into the corner to three. Swain. Usman. <laughs> Epps in trouble. Epps kept his pivot to it. Three from Bristol. Book it. And a big basket. Down is contested and controlled by the Hoyas. Good hustle from Supreme Cook. The Fairfield transfer. Run ball way off. There's the cleanup from. Here's Alexander. He got ahead of steam. We'll take that. Ashworth. And Creighton answers with a triple. Pretty good five. Creighton averages over 10 per game. To the corner, Shireman. Off runner on the offensive glass. There he comes again. And just the visual there. Dixon following up his miss. He knew he left it short, but he couldn't gather the rebound. Yeah, the visual is just enough to your. I heard much from Tyler Burton. No, not at all. I was just thinking the same thing. More deep three. No, Dixon the offense. Doubled by Spencer. Boy, he really surprised him, but he took it back. Carter is fouled. And that's from three-point range. Boy, what a big a Better way to, to put it. So he's wide open. Carter launches from downtown. Oh, the iron kind. And Diarra. Taylor in traffic. Finds Lewis in the corner. Soriano corrals the loose ball down around his ankles. Ledlam from downtown. You know, we've aired a couple of uh, words, but I don't know that we want to air that one. There is a jumper that's good. To play on the perimeter and knock down shots, his ability to drive, mid-range pull-ups, but right there, the post-up. Which is so important right now in, in college athletics. They have the facilities. There's a corner three. Uh, Klingon wound up and blocked that one. Terry into the lane. Shot clocks at five. That's Henley with a three and he hits it. So they close. Three years, Loyola Marymount. Mar Mar
Maryland, excuse me, Rutgers knew about what you were going to expect, but Dan Hurley said he's been even better than what they hoped. Well, they're so much more aggressive, though. Going at the rim with a Miller. wide open look. Good Alexander took over the point guard spot for the rest of the year. Alexander inside, needed some help, finds it from Ashworth, another three falls! Wow. It's this fellow with a good line out. Solid. Ashworth to push. So much more confident. Alexander's three. Well, good good also, Jason yeah. Green. Newton. The shoot. Alexander gonna go to work against Newton. Jason Green. Yeah. His first career. Maybe he can get after people. Moves those legs. Caravello, open man in the corner. That's his specialty. They gotta make the stay in bounds. Maduro. Carter. Long reach. All the way down to take that away, guys. Joplin. Batted out. Caravan. 423. It's a good looks, but right now, I think just a little bit tight on both ends in regards to allowing the rhythm to be there again. Can make the shot to Smart very important for Marquette. Jones off the window, in and out. Functional teams play one way all the time, win the whole thing. Right. Right. It, it's six trips. Yeah. It's six trips in the tournament alone, and you're going to find some. Since it's brunch hour. Martin has shown unbelievable range. Gets in deep. Goes left too strong. Rebound click. Clean it. Sue. And now Richmond. What Richmond. a move. What a move. Oh, that. Count the bucket. I think that's Spencer's fifth. I'm telling you, this guy. Test the strength of this interior defense without clinging. Taylor. To the front. Block. Picked up. Spencer to get going. Even on a night where he struggled to shoot it from outside, one of six, he's into double digits. Brooks cashes it. <laughs> That's right. Give yourself credit. Djokovic for three. Spencer. Claude trying to go at Castle. Claude got it back, and he'll go to. Thirty-one to seven. Claude off the ball. But they're chasing him off every screen and not giving him any airspace. Christian Newton has been the guy on him. Masked up. Spot up three. Off the heel of the rim. Pops. You're ahead in this game by three now. We'll make it five. We'll make it five. I mean, make it five, and then you did turn over here. Eight and ninety points are at forty-four right now. Four-game winning streak, so impressive. Del Ford got into the lane again. Yeah, he's one of those Creighton on Friday. Nice ball fake. The Davis is going to have to have one of his key performances, I think. Shoot the ball well, Brooks. Pierre Brooks misses. At times for DePaul, especially in the last six games, they've fallen behind but fought back to tighten the game. Henley in tight. And Doesn't turn the ball over a lot. They value possessions. You can't get loosey-goosey in a game like this against UConn. You just can't. He's been playing great since their last game. On the baseline, a turnover. Shireman bumped. It is breathtaking. And the arrow's doing a good job on Jones. Not letting him get touches. Look at that help. Castle converging.